what's up everybody and welcome back to my youtube channel today i'll be showing you how to get this look and if you want to see how it's done keep watching so right now i'm prepping the nails pushing the cuticles back lifting the cuticles all the dead skin from the nail plate that could cause any type of lifting or for your nails to just look crusty you know <laughs> After clipping the cuticles and pushing the cuticles back, we're just going to file the nails down as short as possible because I personally just don't like when my natural nail shows underneath of a fresh set. It's not super important. It's not a super important step, but it's just what I like to do. And after we get the nails to your desired length, we're going to buff the nails um, just to remove any type of shine, debris, like dead skin or anything that'll make the nail not adhere the acrylic not adhere as well to the nail the natural nail because this could cause like lifting or like could cause your nail to just pop off altogether, which is ghetto we don't want that so now we're going to apply some dehydrator i personally use the mia secret nail prep just removes any type of oils and then we're going to get into these tips i will link the tips that i'm using down below for anyone who wants to try this at home or any nail techs that want to try this on their clients so she wanted like a stiletto um super sharp stiletto my personal favorite so i'm like cutting the sides you see me like cutting the sides of the nail tip because these nail tips are weird like I don't know how to describe it they're kind of like flat and they don't really go onto the nail plate as well as I'd like so I have to like bend them and I have to clip them to get them to go on correctly So something that's super important when applying tips is making sure that they are on correctly and straight because once you put a tip on and once you put that acrylic on top of that tip it's it's kind of no it's kind of no going back like you ha you can file it off but it's going to take you so much longer and your clients going to be pissed so <laughs> make sure they're straight when you put them on or take it off then when you realize it's not so here are the tips applied and I cut them down to my client's desired length at this point in the video. And now you see me cutting the sides. This is what I do when I know I'm doing stiletto just because it saves me so much time. I kind of like cut it into a V shape just so it speeds up the process of me filing. cutting them I'm gonna put on my little finger condom <laughs> it's actually called a finger cot and it kind of saves my thumb from when I'm filing with this super abrasive file it's like an 80 to 100 grit file and I end up filing so rough that my thumb kind of gets super like irritated some days it's literally about to bleed from how rough I'm filing but this is really my favorite part like getting the shape super crisp and yeah it's just so satisfying like you'll see a quick tip for filing make sure you always keep your file at about a 45 degree angle when you're doing stiletto i'd say let's show them the shade so now i'm focusing on blending the natural nail and the nail tip just to make sure that my acrylic application has a even base to begin with. Wow. 
The next super important step in the prepping process is applying a primer, which allows the acrylic to adhere better to the natural nail and prevent lifting. Cause I know when I first started doing nails and I wasn't using this, I would have a lot of clients coming to me like, hey girl, my nails lifted. Now for the part everybody has been waiting on, <laughs> the acrylic application part. I'm gonna link the powders that I used down below. I had already done her first hand when I decided to start recording the second one because I just figured y'all don't need to see me do both hands. That's a little excessive and that's gonna make this video probably be double the time that it's gonna be. And it's just unnecessary. So enjoy. Another mistake that I used to make all the time when I had just started was applying the acrylic way too close to the cuticle and actually touching or flooding the cuticle. So when you're applying acrylic, you have to get as close as possible to the cuticle without touching it or it's probably going to lead to lifting or them joints popping off, which you don't want if your clients are paying for quality services from you. <laughs> So I'm pretty sure someone's gonna have a question about what brush I'm using. This is the Alpha brush and I believe a size 10. And I'll also link that down below for you guys. So after I put any colored acrylic on or any design, I usually cap it in clear acrylic just kind of to protect the design or the color because once you're done, you kind of have to file back over it to make sure the nail is smooth. And if you're filing over it and you accidentally remove some of the color or part of a design, it could kind of ruin things and make you have to go over something again with acrylic and just add more time to your service. So it's kind of a protective barrier between your file and your acrylic design. Right now I'm doing a kind of marble, colorful, I don't even know what to call it, but <laughs> basically I'm just putting like wet beads of acrylic and like two colors at a time and swirling them around to kind of create a marbling effect. And it kind of gives me like watercolor, I'm not sure, but I just think it's really cute. So since we're doing ombre on this nail, I want to give you guys a tip on how to do that. So I put my color that I want at the bottom of the nail first. I let it dry a little bit and then I apply the color that I want it to fade from because if you put them both on together at the same time when they're both wet, it'll kind of fade them together like the way you don't want them to fade and it won't create an ombre effect. It will kind of create like a two colors basically mixed together like it's not the look you're going for oh and another thing when you're applying acrylic try to angle your client's finger downward and tell your client if they're not angling their finger the way you need them to because if you angle her finger backward or it's just not the angle that you need it at it'll make the acrylic run in places that you don't need it to run which will probably end up in their nail lifting
after all the acrylic has been applied to your liking we're gonna go back in with our 80 to 100 grit file and we're gonna make these joints into some weapons <laughs> so my client actually was a stripper and I kept saying like yeah we're about to give you some stripper grippers so that's what we did much fun doing this set my client was super cool and we really were in there dying laughing like y'all really don't understand <laughs> um but yeah i just i really love what i do i really appreciate all my clients who brighten my day and give me the opportunity to brighten theirs So now we're going to go back in with our e-file and go around the cuticle to take another step to make sure that these bad boys do not lift and do not pop off and to give it a more smooth look around the cuticle area just a more natural finish and we're also going to make sure that the whole entire nail is smooth to make sure that if i applied any acrylic anywhere that was a little lumpy that i fix it now i really do this and that's just on period. <laughs> So I'm going in with this sanding block or buffer, whatever you want to call it, I'm not really sure, to make sure these nails are again super smooth and ready for this bling we're about to apply and top coat. So after this step, my client's going to go rinse her hands and I'm going to get these gems ready for her nails so she can be blinged out. Please excuse the quality of this video. My camera died and my client ended up having to film this part for me so it's super blurry because of when she sent it to me i don't know what happened but we have this wax pen that i'm using to pick up these gems and i'm going to link the glue that i'm using down below it's kind of like a gel glue so when you once you put it in the lamp it's cured and they don't move can see clear so like, no, i'm just playing anyways we're gonna go in with our top coat after we've applied our bling and we're gonna cure in the lamp for about 60 seconds each hand so i know not every nail tech does this but when i put my gems on i like to put top coat on top to kind of seal them in i know it's kind of different from what a lot of people do, but it's just the way I prefer to do it. So now I'm just applying some cuticle oil to her cuticles and basically fingers just to remove some ash for these pictures we're about to take. But let me just say y'all, these nails are bomb. Thank you guys so much for tuning into my first nail tutorial. I'll definitely have so many more videos coming soon. Please go like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later.